Chase family. So, I wanted to come on live and be able to uh, answer a question that I often get a lot. And I step outside of my house. It's like tsunami. America must need rain. So I'm not really going to be looking at the comments like I stopped. So I can say hi and everything. But I'm not going to really be looking at the comments so much at this moment to make sure that I can kind of pay attention to this right now me communicating to a camera and luckily having receivers on the other end of the camera doesn't really require too much um, in regards to restricting or affecting my safety but if I was engaging with you, that would be a different scenario. But today's video is what is an ancestor altar? Now, I think I spelled it wrong. Okay. I'm going to fix it. People drive crazy. Wow. Whoa. Uh, well, maybe I did spell it right. Because... You have to remember it. A altar serves a purpose, has a role, a position, a job to fulfill, as does the energy the altar is dedicated to. Now, what is an altar? What is an ancestor? Wow, he out here on his bike in this crazy rain. Oh, you got that, bro. Now, in a previous video, I tried to explain the importance of understanding the true position of an ancestor. That we often have the tendency to think of ancestors as past. But then within the same conversation, we'll communicate about reincarnation. And if reincarnation represents energies coming towards the future, well, those energies must be a part of what we would call our ancestors. So just remember that your ancestors is associated to not only your past, but your future. So what purpose could you be doing? Manifesting, creating an altar. I would love for some of y'all to put some comments below and explain why you have altars in the first place. It would be beneficial for the family as a collective to see all of the different interpretations and ideas that come from in come from a or an position because these is what our ancestors did they always dedicated to the ancestors if I'm not mistaken A-L-T-A-R and then you have another word A-L-T-E-R both kind of representing the word or, or sounds like altar the one kind of represents change another one represents a sacred space to honor and dedicate 
whatever you choose to honor and dedicate to whatever energy you choose to honor and dedicate and alter. It's raining, it's crazy. Now, many people ask me, what would be some You are so powerful as an energy, as a creator, that you have the ability to manifest energy in whatever way, shape, or form you see fit. A lot of water right there. And if you choose to see fit by honoring your ancestors with every single breath you take, but then you are considering yourself, in essence, the sacred space. Honoring and dedicating to an energy that lies within you. And with every single conscious, because here's the other important degree of this. The reason why they want you to build an altar is because the altar represents an action that you are willing to do on a conscious level level so you are also acknowledging the principle of consciousness and honoring consciousness so if you were to take a breath and fill up one's body with air which is holding ancestors within you or ancestral DNA whatever works for you you, in essence, can acknowledge those energies. Bring praise and honor to those energies. I feel like I should have went out earlier. It was raining, but it wasn't raining like this. Right. I'm just thinking of other places I gotta go. Alright, so... Once you start to acknowledge things on a conscious level... A very interesting thing happens to the body. It changes. And if the body changes, then you are also tapping into another word that we can use. It's called alter. And that represents change. And that your behaviors are defining your role and your position with your ancestors. It doesn't necessarily always involve a desk, a table, a cloth, a candle, a photo, a date, a glass of wine, sperm, blood, the list goes on, doesn't always have to involve this, here's the secret, The problem that we have with what we can call spirit, <clears throat> spiritualism, is that it feels like a chore. It feels like a job. That I have to be back at 12 o'clock so I can honor the ancestors and it, it should never have to feel like that. Who told you that was what it was supposed to be like? To feel like a chore. Like a job. I might have to pull over. This is like a lot of rain. I'm just trying to get my carabas. Alright, damn, I already paid for it too. 
we go, we go pull over for a second. We go, we go let the load down for, you know what I'm saying? Live his best life. They got me fucked up. I ain't in no rush. All right. We gonna give this a couple minutes. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't rushing. You know? Might be a Russian dial. Now, no, this shit didn't just. Like, it just stopped. Oh, no, no, no rain. It's good. What the hell? You know, I've been trying to be still little time. Let's talk about ancestor altars. And then the rain is like, be gone. And then I've stopped for 2.1 seconds and the rain stops. Like, where does it go? Okay. Apple forward stock split. Thank you, Apple, for the forward stock split. All right. Back at it. Now, when you start to do actions towards a specific energy, You have to remember that these actions are still serving purposes that would, in your mind, benefit you or harm you. But the mind isn't always right. How many how many of you have experienced a time where your mind was not right? Then I'm going to give you a specific uh, story that would associate with this. Okay, so how many of you heard of David Bland? I think that's his name. And he is a um, a magician, but he is also a, uh, a mentalist. And in that definition, he's able to use his mind to influence and control his body. Considers himself a mentalist. Yeah, the magic guy, David Bland. Kind of did a uh, sleep deprivation, water deprivation, or water tanks. I mean, the dude did some pretty extreme stuff. Now, he recently did an interview with one of my favorite interviewers by the name of Joe Rogan. And he was talking to Joe Rogan. And he was explaining to him, you know, how we started off with cards. And then he learned the deeper aspects of pushing the body to certain extremes. Well, that it then would appear to be almost magic. Eating glass. Glass literally going in one's stomach and not having any issues or complications at all. Now, this has to do with mucus. Now, I'm not David Bland, so I cannot sit here and tell you all of the key secrets of eating glass, nor would I suggest it. But he has been able to build a level of trust because this is what he said. I created a way of trusting myself through rigorous actions. And this touches home because this is what 
what your altar is. Rigorous actions to get a system of trust within yourself. You pour that glass of wine to uh, Oshun every Wednesday. These are rigorous actions that allow you to trust in the relationship between you and Oshun. It's very important to understand why trust plays a huge role in what we will call the collective consciousness and in this 3, 5, 8D design. Now, he was explaining how he would push his body to certain extremes. Well, he would be able to do things like stay underwater for long periods of time. In excess of 30 to an hour, 30 minutes to an hour, underwater. And you would say that would be impossible. But weirdly enough, the body is capable of staying underwater that long. But you have to know how to train one's body to be able to trust, aka train one's mind into influencing the body. So it's really the mental that has to create this system of trust within itself to push the body to extremities or possibilities. We might call them extremities when in reality they are the possibilities that are stored within us. Are we willing to go that extreme? Muscle memory is a real thing. Exactly. That's exactly where I was going. Now, this is how they train in the Navy SEALs. And this is where David Bland learned a lot of his skills. There are certain Navy SEALs that have the ability to stay underwater for long, long periods of time. They keep oxygen tanks with them, but they are able to control the certain CO2 level within their body. And being able to do that allows you to stay underwater much longer than you would uh, think would be possible for you. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because even David Bland went on a system or pilgrimage of understanding the possibilities of himself. And he did not go to a newborn. He did not go to an adolescent. He did not go to a teenager. He seldomly even went to young adults. He went to what we would refer to as the elders. He went to what we would refer to as the ancestors. Because not only did he go to the physical realms of communicating with certain Navy uh, SEALs, certain gurus, certain different people of uh, extreme extremities or possibilities, but he also with, went in within himself and tapped into a certain spiritual aspect of this. Now this matters because a lot of magicians are associated with this form of magic. Now this form of magic is usually associated with what we will refer to in the Wiccan community as a sigil or a sigil. And a sigil, yes, I'm saying sigil, a sigil, a sigal, okay? This is this is interesting because there's an actor named Sigal or a sigil or sigal. Anyway, it's different. It, anyway, just let me go to that. Sigil. Let me just let y'all use the word y'all know. Sigil, okay? And a sigil is basically a combination of letters that then create what we would call shapes. And these shapes then articulate a certain logo or logos. And this logo usually traps or contains what we would call a demon or an entity. And within that logo, like the Honda logo I'm looking at right now, the Acura logo I'm looking at right now, the rainbow logo I'm looking at on this North Face, you are invoking a certain gen, gen, deity, in your EM field. Now, the difference is you're not conscious of them. You wear this shit, but you're not conscious of them. 
So they kind of get to influence you. So for example, uh, the title is called North Face. So you already know which polarity it's pulling from, the North, which agenda it's, it's pulling your energy towards Polaris, the North Pole. And this is happening all on a subconscious level, right there on my app. I mean, and it keeps going on and on and on for all the symbols around us. But these would be called logos. Now, you can create your own logos, which is even deeper magic. I was prepared for it. All right, we're good. You can create your own logos and then have the ability to uh, place your own ancestor. Now, the reality of our life is we don't want to accept the fact that what we would call a dark gen or gen are our ancestors. What we would refer as uh, 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 demons are our ancestors. Uh, angels are our ancestors. These are all our ancestors. So it's just a matter of now figuring out a system to contain them. If you're an angel and I'm trying to have a hierarchy amongst angels, then I got to create what you would call an arc. And then you have to have angels that rule over these arcs or rainbows. And those are then how you have what you would define as an archangel or archangels defining the different rays or lights of you i did this shit with a hat i did this i did this with a hat <laughs> i did it with a hat let me see where i'm going so it's important to know that what we were referred to as an ancestor altar is a practice that you are creating to build a relationship relate you gotta relate to have a relationship and you gotta relate on something oh well i like how about this instead of you pouring the glass of wine for whoever the hell you doing it for how about you ingest it because it is inside of you even and you know what i hope you don't like it i hope it's bitter i hope it's fucked up i hope you don't like it even better because now you're sacrificing yourself you're sacrificing your discomfort you're sacrificing your taste buds now you're sacrificing yourself that makes sense to me facts that's an uh, interesting topic i don't got shit to do what we're talking about but that's such facts america has more suicides than the coronavirus Really just go rain like crazy. Something gotta attract rain. Cause how can you not get rain like everywhere? Now Arizona's a damn desert. So what was deserted? I guess the life. But the life is in the water, so then the water was deserted out of Arizona. So then why, you know, water seeks water. So then why would water try to come to Nevada if there's no water there? So you know how to create the solution with that? You need to try to create more, uh... Man, I, I'm not gonna get into that. Q trying to figure out how to solve desertion in Nevada. Don't hold me. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just trying to get my food. I'm trying to get the Carabas. I'm just trying to have me a Caraba kind of night. No cat. Bill and Ted is out. The new one. I'm excited. I'm trying to go home and watch Bill and Ted. It's great news, family. The studio is set up. Yes, yes, I said the studio is set up. No, no, I'm sorry. Let me not. No, I'm going back. I'm sorry. Back to what I was talking about. I still got more shit I got to talk about. So, listen. So, the proper way of setting up an ancestor altar is to set one's body up to be that sacred space. 
and you can acknowledge your ancestors with information. You can acknowledge your ancestors by going to the places that have been calling you, but you be making every excuse not to go to. These are some of the practices you can do to acknowledge your ancestors. Start it within you first. And then if you want to go outside of you and get you some grapes and 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 separate it where you want to call on a specific ancestor that was great at poker and how do you do that well you build an environment that channels a poker uh, uh, ancestor put some playing cards down put some money down uh, if that ancestor you think is 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 kind of you also got to have your third eye open now see that's another thing you gotta remember you got hella ancestors so you got to kind of have some type of uh, intuitive uh, understanding of what is trying to connect with you and help you or what is inside of you talking to you right now so you know where to go from where to reach from yeah so i mean i'm not really a fan of like y'all running outside of yourselves like alter yourself first be your sacred space alter the angry ass ancestors inside of you Maybe you was some, how about going to that poker table, losing that hundred dollars, instead of you bitching and moaning, say, ah, okay, that was a lesson my ancestor needed to learn. You know how much easier it would be to stop blaming yourself? You not just you. Say, good, yes, that was, yes, lesson learned. Hundred dollars down, probably got 10,000 more I gotta lose. It's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. Because then it ain't gonna be tripping. You ain't gonna worry about it. Why? It's gonna come right back. Struggle, struggle is non-existent. Struggle comes from those that struggle to accept your own self-worth and value. And I know that's very, 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 very difficult to understand. That you struggle because you do not understand your self-worth. I spoke to no cap and I love every single person here. I was speaking to someone and I think I saw, like she was saying how uh, a, a certain car was her dream car. And I mean, it was cool for sure. But I'm just like, damn, that's really where you put yourself? Like, as your dream car. Not like, this is the car. See, there's a difference between this is the car I'm about to get in the next five years. I get you. I get you. Just work your pace. Work your pace. I'm with you. But your dream car? Like, that's really how you see yourself? That's struggle. Because then you ain't going to know what it's like to have a car that fucking uh, drives itself or whatever. You can just get what I'm saying. You're, you're going to struggle with being able to have certain things that can make your life more convenient. Now, if we weren't into what we would call technology or into gadgets to make our lives more convenient, then I wouldn't suggest that. But we sign up for that. We want that. So why wouldn't you want the best of the best? you don't believe you deserve it everyone else comes ahead of you fuck everyone else how do they come ahead of you how does that work i just don't get some of these concepts we need you to be the best you so then you can process this reality in completion and balance because there's just a lot of fucking people pretending it's just halloween i see halloween 365 four days a week because the one night it's Halloween y'all try y'all actually are yourselves or that shit y'all dress up like or that shit y'all want to be that's really who you are so finally yes yes finally you show yourself true colors yes I'm with it appreciate it but 364 your neighbor your doctor your baby mama, your Starbucks employee. Q, what are you talking about? They're not themselves. They're not themselves. 
What the fuck you call social media? That's a whole different you. On the way. On the way. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. Caraba. Caraba. Yeah. Five minutes. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping I don't gotta go inside. Karaba! We living my best life. That's real. Listen, it's not all you have to do. Listen, there is an ancestor inside of me right now that's so fucking excited. They're like, Woo! Karabas, Karabas, hey, Karabas, 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 hey, Karabas, Karabas. And I'm just like, because my vision works. So I just be like, dog, relax. <laughs> it's just Karabas. <laughs> but I probably have a, a, a ancestor that ate this every guy. Oh, oh, you know what? Didn't eat this every week. This is probably rare for them. They probably didn't get to have this. Maybe once every year. Maybe died at Carabas. You hear what I'm saying? Like, I, I want y'all to stretch y'all brains to really understand why y'all behave the way y'all behave. 121, 67 likes. 121, 67 likes. I'm about to end this. I'm about to end this, blood. I'm about to end this and, and, and call the Carabas people. Y'all playing with me. Y'all playing. Please help folks understand they are the creator, not their creations. The soul, not the life forms that spirit animate and inhabit. Straight up. All right. All right. All right. We ain't, it ain't going, it ain't going crazy, big dog. We good. We good. We good. We good. It's good. It's good. So... Hopefully, I was able to give you guys some insight. No, I got curbside. So, I'm naturally assuming they go bring it out. Yeah, there, there you is, Caraba. Listen, I'm a corroborate, all right? Where do I come up with this stuff? I'm a corroborate. <laughs> Hello. Hi, picking up for Queen's Hand? Yes. Here you go. Thank you. That's mm -hmm. everything? That's all. All right. What's the number inside? Is it not the nope. our phone? What's the number inside? You know, that's how you know I'm in the South. She liked it. What's the number inside? I was, I was calling the night. It was 901. It was, it was, it was 901, three, you know, I can't get these buttons. They just make these things smaller and smaller. No, they're actually getting bigger and bigger. No, hush. These things is just getting smaller and smaller. My fingers ain't working. What? Did I do something? Is my fingers broke? I want, I was, I was, it ain't, Quentin, Quentin, my friend, my, my, what the, my touch ID ain't coming on. I'm using the butt. Did you, did you, did you use this finger to, to scan it? Uh, I don't know. I, I, uh, why don't you try your thumb? Ah, ah, okay. Oh, there it is. Ha! Oh. My finger isn't broke. <laughs> I feel so bad for old people. I really do. I thought my I thought there was some Quinn, I thought there was something wrong with my finger now. Damn. I was about to go exfoli <laughs> I was about to go exfoliate. <laughs> I can just see her in the bathroom. It's gonna work now. 
I got about three layers of skin off. This go work now. Oh! Just try the other finger. God damn. I love them though. I love them. I'll keep them around more than any of these other motherfuckers. Just give me an old 64 year old that don't know how to use the cell phone and is is debating if uh, uh, flat screens and two TVs is going to come back. Or, I mean, if flat, if, if two TVs is going to make a way back over flat screens. And, and I got to tell her, that's that's done, baby. That's done, baby. Them two TVs, baby, that's done, baby. You know how heavy them two TVs were? And she going to say, but they lasted. I had about four flat screens. And ain't not one, well, ain't now one of them last me longer than my husband's. How many husbands you had? Fourteen. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd be like that. I met a lady, she had like fourteen husbands. I'm like, God damn, where'd you get started? Like twelve? Fourteen? <laughs> God damn. Oh no, I gotta stop. Y'all be having me cracking up. I'm just trying to get me to go to the next destination. All right, I think we got this. Bomb. Next destination. I've been cracking myself up. I told you I'm about to be a comedian. Y'all don't even understand. Because like I don't know if it if it's if it's me if it's ants. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know. I tell people. I said I think I got multiple personalities. I had a friend ask me earlier, she was like, how do you handle them? Ooh, that's close. Back it up now, back it up now. Whoa. Shut up. I'm trying not to get hit by the goddamn street. God damn it. I got reverse camera. See your bitch ass. You know what? I'm about to just Debo. Fuck all, all, all y'all wait. Now, how about that? Now, how about that? What? I didn't know what I was talking about. What you talking about? I want, I, I'm about to just start doing skits. There's like a gangster in here. <laughs> it's like a gangster. There's like a white boy. There's like a pimp. I like a ghetto black girl. I have like the staple stereotypes because the little, the white boy is emo. He's hella. He doesn't care about anything. Fuck this world. But he be too slow for me. He be too slow for me. Like, he take 15 minutes to turn his head. But then I got the pimp, you know, pimp, pimp gotta have quick reflexes. <laughs> Motherfucking money. So stop that pimp. Get, listen, think about it. How hard it is to be a pimp? Them niggas don't get shot. They be dealing with all kind of stuff. They reflexes. That got they got pimps gotta be reptilians. I don't wanna hear that shit. If you a pimp, you a goddamn a reptilian. You you are a reptilian descendant. Because y'all reflexes is not some shit. Y'all motherfuckers is hilarious. Hilarious. Y'all don't do shit. Y'all don't do nothing. Just like goddamn lazy lizard. Just like goddamn gecko. Can't even get my goddamn insurance right. Boy, oh boy. Alright, so there's something else I had to talk about. What you talking about? What you talking about? I be having funny ass. Life is funny. I 
Alright, so that's the altar. That's the altar. Now, now, the next question she had. So, this is a member. So, I have like some membership things set up and I'm still trying to figure out. But listen, wait, hold on. I was on vacation. So, like, don't hold me. It's like I was on vacation. I try to tell everybody I was on vacation. Like, I needed to get a break. Like, I needed a break. And I still came up here and did videos. So, it wasn't like I really did like a full fledged vacation. I did like a, you know. But anyway, I needed the break. So, it wasn't in my other phone or my work phone or nothing like that. So, people, people cussing me out. You should see. This spiritual community, crazy. I swear to God. They like bipolar. They be like, Spazzing, apologizing. I love you. You're God. I hate you. You're the devil. You're here to save the world. You're here to burn it down. And I'm like, my nigga, how do you go through so many emotions in like a day? Like, how was I all of that in a day? It was a day. It was like 24 hours. Where the fuck is your brain? You don't experience the whole, the whole shit. I'm going, I'm, I'm going to get my damn dessert. I need dessert. I feel like a fat kid. Oh, I got some keys up in this motherfucker somewhere. You know, kind of have to have the keys in order to drive, right? Yeah, there it is, there it is, there it is. All right, next topic at hand. Oh, wait, let me read some of the shit y'all said. Um, Q, you driving, get the wheel, oh my. At least one of my ancestors have unsubscribed a couple times, but I always come back. Hey, I mean, it's good. It's good. I'm not tripping. I, it's good. It's good. You stay. Yeah, you go. You come back. Don't get blocked. That is when shit gets ugly. Because I, I don't even know how to unblock. I'm not looking to learn how. So, if you get blocked, odds are it's probably going to stay that way. And then you hit me up with one of them ghost phantom pages where it even seems even weirder. Like, at least you have an established page that I'm willing to, like, entertain your ass on. But then them ghost ones be coming up with them weird-ass names. Star Goddess 15557439. Like, you know you just thought of that shit yesterday. Come on, stop playing with your life. I'm trying to get out of here. Look, I don't be knowing where I'm going. Don't be mad at me. I don't be knowing where I'm going. Process. We live in too many places. I sit my ass down for at least a year. It's big, it's big, it's big, it's big. What do you do? It's big. It's big. I'm talking about the car. I'm talking about the car. Bert.
I was trying to back up. The car was big. It's dice, dice space. Oh, crack was so close. <laughs> if anyone lives his best life, you can say Q does. Okay. Oh, God. Damn. I don't know where I'm going. Jesus, take the will. I started the video off so good. I was doing so good. I was, I was, I was like, yes, I, I can see you on stage, Q, being all proper and political. Yes, you are doing it. Listen to you. You're slowing down. You're smiling, you're pausing. <laughs> Woo, it's good, it's good, it's good. I'm, I might be on the stage. Well, yes, so, well, the problem is with the seven specific tiers of chakra resonating from the plasmatic and etherical state. One representing a fourth dimension and the fifth dimension. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. You know, I might lose my fuck. I might not be able to hold all these personalities under control. So, we're gonna have, you know what? You know what's crazy? I was like, at a time, I was like, man, this world can't fuck with me because this world ain't crazy enough for me. For real. Like, I, I would say that. Like, like, this world is crazy on some, like, shit they shouldn't be crazy on. But, like, I'm starting to see the world crazy on, like, that right crazy. And I'm like, okay, shit, dude, that's the fucking crazier my ass is. The more this world around me is the same exact degree of goddamn craziness. Now, <clears throat> the second question that was asked was, can I speak more about sound healing? Now, sound healing, is also a coded message saying that if you start to move the heel, two sounds that can be healing so for example what you would call dance or expression is a form of sound healing because you are healing oneself through motion or movement now, I often explain that sound is the creator. Therefore, it takes sound for things to move. So to start moving in the sounds that are supporting your healing would be a form of sound healing. But how many sounds are y'all listening to that are not healing, but yet is moving your heels? Get your ass to work. That's a sound heal. I don't know if it's healing you through sound. It's healing something within your body that needs to hear that. But I'm not sure if that's the spirit you want to animate for today. <laughs> to get through this work day. You might need to deal with that motherfucker at a later time. But this might not be the time to deal with that. It's deep. It's deep. I'm not even driving fast. This is good. This is good. This is good. It's sunny. I brought the, we brought the sun out. This is good. See? Got sun. But on a deeper level, we are healing the heel of Orion. But I'm not going to get into that. But look up how Orion is positioned in the sky. 
and then where we are in position to the heel of Orion. <clears throat> now, just that simple action, making sure that you use your body to move in the proper cadence with the sounds internally and externally of you. Now, oh, here comes the rain. Now, people often ask me why there's certain people on this planet that dance different. Meaning that there's one specific race that would be what we would perceive to be uh, more rhythmatic or, or, or more in sync, I guess that would be it, in sync with sound. While there are other species on this planet that would appear to be out of sync from sound. What the clap the snap? They get that. They get that fucking snap though. They get that fucking snap though. We get the neck. I was like, nah, you was almost, you know. <laughs> snap. <laughs> snap your foot. <laughs> Showing my age. Too stupid. You can do it all by yourself. <laughs> Why do y'all watch me? <laughs> I can see someone in their kitchen right now. <laughs> Two step. <laughs> it's healing. In fact, y'all cap yourselves. You two step in the, in the kitchen and your husband, bitch, what the fuck you doing? See, that ain't healing. How you supposed to heal when you two stepping in the kitchen listening to Q and the nigga in the background talking about bitch what you doing? How are you healing? It's difficult. Don't really add up. You're trying to, you're trying to get things more insane. This is when y'all gotta get air buds and put one in his ear and put one in mine. Cause I can put bro on game before you leave his ass. Set up that consultation for him. <laughs> Shorty, you don't even need it. <laughs> Set it up for your man. To help him. Let me help. Let me help him be a better him. <laughs> See the bigger picture. It's deep. It's real shit. Bitch, I ain't listening to no other nigga. Fuck all look what. And don't be no gangster. Goddamn triple O, triple O gangster. <laughs> why did you just siren me? I was in New York and Harlem. And I was like, why are niggas siren? It sounds like sirens. Nigga, is it the cops or the ops? <laughs> is it the cops or the bloods? I'm so confused. They go see, they go catch my ass. Then I'm gonna dap them up and everything gonna be Gucci. <laughs> it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. Q's with all this shit. I done been almost... You know... <clears throat> hold on. Let me see if I can calculate it. Like, how many times? 20. Twice. Twice. Realistically. I almost been kidnapped twice. Kidnapped. Kidnapped. Like, bye-bye. So I just be thinking, like... You really bought that life? <laughs> I know motherfuckers is about that life. I almost got kidnapped twice. <laughs> First time I talked my way out of it. The second time, no, no more talking, Q. There's no more talking. 
We don't talk no more. No more talking. Damn, they was really mad. They was really mad. I'm gonna have to piss certain people off. They really fucking crazy. They really fucking crazy. Like, listen, they rented a whole goddamn the, the van that slide with the door that, that slides open. Like, you know you dedicated. When you wait in the goddamn line and put a deposit down to get a van to kidnap a motherfucker, you know you invested. You know someone's mad. When I saw the van, I was like, damn, you really pissed him off. <laughs> It's good. It's good. Relax. Need to relax. That's the problem. People need to relax. <laughs> I promise you they ain't get that deposit back. Because <laughs> clearly I'm still here. It's good. It's good. This is old Q though. This is old Q. New Q is way better. New Q got way more guns. It's way better. This is good. How I get to this topic? This is what I'm saying. I'm supposed to be talking to y'all about two stepping in the in the kitchen. So you have something inside of you called melanin. And then certain people have a external form of it. Of course, all melanin is not alike. Because here's the secret of melanin. Melanin has to do with consciousness. And it has nothing to do with your own consciousness. Melanin has its own consciousness of itself. So, for example... If the melanin that is conscious or is a consciousness of your ancestors is attracted to the sound that is being amplified around you, then that ancestor is kind of tapping into your melanin and now dancing and grooving to it. Now, if you are a relatively newer species or newer race, you're not going to have such an extensive ancestor line. Therefore, you're not going to have as many ancestors gravitate or associate to the mother music. See what I'm saying? I can still kick the information. I just be laughing. Life be funny. He's good. He's good. He's good. And then I'm not even saying anything out of pocket. They would tell you that there is a race that's been here older than another race. So I'm telling you based on the science they're willing to tell you. They're, they study melanin. They know melanin is sentient. Meaning it's conscious. That's why goddamn 50 Cent got shot nine times and survived. Why crackheads get hit by cars and keep running. Especially some of these melanated versions. But I got to end this. It's good. I'm happy that you were here and stayed here for my lessons in the life. Thank you so much for tuning in. If anyone wants to donate to my channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, Q Reeves, C U E Reeves, greatly appreciated. My calendar is back open now for any of you looking to book, but it's already booked up for like the first, I think, seven or eight days. Bro just came back on and we already getting there. So, it's good. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Till next time.